friends, it's so lovely to have you back. I am going to be completely honest with you. This is not a Japanese video week, um, as I'm sure you've noticed by the title. I honestly did not have time to get it all done this last week. <laughs> so the video is still happening, it's just being one week delayed. But we still have a very fun video for today. We're going to do the end of March reading. I didn't get a lot of reading done today, but I'll explain why um, a little bit later on in this video. And we're going to bake some, we're going to bake an Easter cake, a traditional like what they have here in Germany. It's like a lamb cake. It's super cute. Don't worry, there's no lamb in it. It's an extremely easy cake to make. The one problem is, is the pan is, you have to like order the pan specialty, but I'm wondering if you can order on Amazon. If you can, I'll go ahead and list it in the description below. And we're going to do some other things around. Um, I'll go, I'm going to try to go out into the balcony and do some gardening, but it's been kind of a weird weather day, so we'll see what happens and get some other things done around the house. I'm home alone today. I took the day off, so it's going to be a me and the kitties because my partner's at work and it's just me at the apartment. So I have everything I want to do and under the sun under my apartment. Um, feeling. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right into the day. I'm really excited. I think we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a cup of coffee first and just kind of relax for the morning, maybe get some smaller projects done, and then maybe this afternoon after lunch we'll go ahead and make our cake. So let's go ahead and jump right into the living room. Well, not jump, let's wander into the living room and just and relax and have ourselves a slow start to the morning and then we'll talk about some books maybe a little bit later on.
myself a cup of tea so I've had coffee already so now it's tea time <laughs> um, actually it's my second cup of tea so the Easter cake I think is really adorable it never turns out the way I want it to but it's also the only second time I've made this cake so it's not like I've had a lot of practice um, but it's a super easy cake recipe it's really delightful to eat it's very buttery and fluffy and um, just a really simple cake that takes about an hour um, to put together, well not to put together, it takes about 15 minutes to put it all together and then 45 minutes to bake. So if you get the chance to, it's a great little way to celebrate not just like Easter, but a really great way to celebrate spring. It's like the idea of a new life, uh, new beginnings, starting with the whole thing of flowers coming up and everything like that. So it's, it's very cute and just fun little cake. So not even directly for Easter, but just spring in general. So. If you get the chance to make that cake, I would highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to post the recipe that's on the back of the box, actually, because that's the recipe I followed. And then I, it'll be in the description below. And then, it's like I said, it's, it's so easy, so simple. You could probably do it in a round form or in like a bread form, so a, a five by nine bread form. And that would work as well as, um, or just as well. And you could put powdered sugar on it and it would taste absolutely delightful. So that cake was fun. I also love the fact that I can set up the photo afterwards and it's so cute and it's just a delight to eat. It did feel a little weird cutting it though. I'm not gonna lie, um, because it's so cute. I just cut my lamb in half and I was like, oof, that's a weird feeling, but I just pushed it back together and it was all fun. <laughs> so, uh, I did enjoy in that cake. I decided to sit down and watch some Darling Desi for a little while. I watched her birthday video from I think two years ago and it's making me think of some ideas for my birthday. Um, and it's perfect timing because it's in the summer. The flowers are going to be hello. So I can get some flowers and do uh, That's birthday stuff. We still have a couple months for that. Um, but. The lamb cake was super cute and I think if you get the chance to celebrate kind of the spring and if you want to bake a cake, this cake is absolutely perfect. I figured we would just jump right into some books real fast um, since we're already sitting down. I had mentioned I didn't get a chance to read very much, which is true, but there's a reason. Um, but first let's go ahead and talk about some of the books I read. I first read The End of the Fair by Graham Greene. This was really interesting. It's not a book I would normally read. This was actually one of the books my partner bought, but he said he thought I should read it and kind of step outside of my box, which I'm extremely happy I did. I would rate this five out of five, and that's kind of surprising for me because to be honest, the storylines are extremely basic, but it's just so well written and so interesting. And it was, gripping through the whole entire story. As you can imagine, it's about an affair. The story is very interesting because this is something I would never do to my own partner. Like I, I could never, ever, ever hurt my partner like that. And so this was an interesting story in the sense that I was following this man on his views and his thoughts. And I also got like a little kind of peek into the woman's thoughts and her life and just everything around it and then also her husband and their relationships and what it meant for them to be in relationships and what it meant also to believe in God. And I, I don't read books about God very often. It was intriguing on how religion came into this book and also how it affected our characters. And I think for me, it didn't make me question anything and it didn't make me wonder if or when or anything like that, but it made me realize that people go through different things differently than I do. Um, again, I don't condone cheating on your partner, but very interesting read. It got me thinking, and the reason I put it for five stars is because I'm still thinking about this book today, and I finished it at the very beginning of March. Um, I know that wasn't very long ago, but if I'm still thinking about a book and it's, I'm still thinking about what happened in it, and how it affected me and how it affected my thoughts, then that's a five star book to me. A book that makes me think and question and wonder and and just is intriguing is a five star book, even though I don't like the 
the idea about behind the book. So five star, I would highly recommend it. I can't wait for my partner to read it so we can talk about it. But um, if you've read something like this, or if you read this book, let me know and let me know your thoughts because I would, I would like to discuss it with somebody, but I don't know anybody who's read this book so far. But um, I enjoyed it and definitely would read again. The other one I grabbed, I actually grabbed at the bookstore um, when I met with a friend, I think two weekends ago or a weekend ago, I can't remember. It wasn't very long ago, but I was like, ah, I don't know any books. I don't have enough books already, but <laughs> I didn't want to read any of the books I had. So I was like, I'm just going to buy a book because I just need a book that I know I'm going to want to read as soon as I get home because I need a new book. So I got the guest list um, by Lucy Folly. She's the one that wrote The Hunting Party. I've never read The Hunting Party. I've only heard bits and pieces about it, but I saw this and I thought it was interesting. I read it. I enjoyed it. I would give it a three star. I didn't, I didn't love it. Um, I, like I said, I enjoyed it. I don't think I, this says it's a who's done it, uh, the classic who's done it. And this is not a who's done it. In my opinion, a who's done it is when you get the chance as a reader to try to figure out who the murderer is as well, like an Agatha Christie book. So Agatha Christie leaves little kind of tricklets and little, little nuggets of information and stuff like that throughout her story so you can maybe kind of figure out who the murderer is before the end of the story this you had no idea who the like there was no nuggets i'm going to be honest i won't leave i won't say any spoilers but everybody had a reason to want this person dead and then you didn't even know like who specifically did what and what happened until the last like 10 pages of the book. So not a whodunit. So I'm sorry, Kate Moss. <laughs> this is not a classic whodunit. This is a classic mystery. It's a story where a lot happens. We follow what happens. There was something my partner said the other day. He heard it or saw it. I think he saw it on Reddit. <laughs> um, it's the, it's, it's, I'll put it right here so that way you can see it. But it's the idea that one side is something that we're discovering with the author and the other side is that we're wondering what why they did this so we have a who did it or a why they did it that's what it is um so i'm not going to put it on the screen now so that's why nothing popped up on the screen <laughs> so we have a who, why did they do it or who did it and a who did it is um uh, um a who did, done it and then a why they did it is a mystery and this is a mystery because this is why they did it um, again, an intriguing read. I found it enjoyable. I sat down on the sofa. I read through it. However, I kept falling asleep within the last 50 pages, which was kind of a disappointment. To be said, I was tired. I did watch... Oh, I went to a concert. I will talk about this later. But I was really tired. However, I feel like I should have been really engaged in the last 50 pages, and I just wasn't very engaged. Good read. Interesting read. I found it enjoyable. I probably wouldn't read it again. It's a three star. Um, and it was really hard to describe what was happening in it to my partner because he was asking me what's happening in my book and it, there was just so many points of views. I think there's like six different points of views. Um, easy to follow. I, I actually am going to say Lucy Folly did a great job in the sense that this was an easy story to follow. I didn't feel like I was getting characters confused. Um, I could figure out who, which character was doing what. Um, so that was fantastic. I felt like I could actually follow the story, even though there was like six points of views. Um, but again, like I said, it's 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 a good read. It's entertaining for a quick, fun, like maybe stormy weekend um, two day read. Um, I, it did not take me two days to read this, but but if you want to sit down and just read all weekend, you could probably finish this. Um, the text is quite large. So that was the other book I read. I'm currently reading, or uh, I just finished my first manga. I'm not going to talk about that today, but it is part of my March reads. I will be talking about that next week. I absolutely loved it. I wish I'd been reading more manga. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I think manga's gotten a bad rap since I was in high school, but 
to be honest, it was really, really good. And Gavin did a great job at recommending one. I've already bought the second one, and uh, or the second part, second book of the, the manga series. I'm not sure what you would call it. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely enjoyed it. And it was a quick read. It was really relaxing. I loved the art in it. So really, really good. I also wanted to talk about my book I got for my birthday. Um, or Christmas, sorry. <laughs> so I got this for Christmas. I talked about it in my book haul book video a couple months ago. I can't remember which one. Um, and my partner got this for me. And now that it's spring, the flowers are blooming and I found my first flower. Um, it is called the Bush Windhorsen. Bush Windhorsen. It's a cute little flower. It's related to the buttercup. Here, I'll bring it to you so you can see it. This one right here. And it's so pretty. And then my book tells me a little bit about it. It's in German, so I'm learning a lot of German words as well. But I was so excited. I found my first flower. I think it's adorable that it's related to the buttercup. And I'm thinking about actually um, printing all the, I take photos of my flowers as I'm doing my walks. And then I search for it in the book because this book is quite heavy. But I was thinking about printing my photos and sticking it in the book, but then my book might get really full. But I was just so excited I found my first flower and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> um, so now to the reason of why I'm not reading as much as maybe I would like to. So I have a full-time job. So that's one thing, but I can do a lot of reading in the evening, but I also do a lot of baking, as you can imagine, since I'm also a baker. But I've also been putting together something for the last couple, I think two years, and I have never talked about it with, I've only talked about it with two or three people because it makes me really shy. And I, I feel that it's unfortunate that I feel very almost ashamed about this, but um, I've been putting together my own baking book. It's of tarts and pies, so it focuses just on tarts and pies. And I wanted to share the fact that I've been working on it with you guys because this is my one, my baking channel, my cottage core channel, so a lot of baking also, and my cozy corner. And you guys are if, like friends to me. You guys are my friends. Like I'm not even like friends. You guys are my friends. We, I talk to a lot of you uh, down in the comments or over on my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram or talk to me, you can follow me here. Um, it's also down in the description below, <laughs> but I, um, I wanted to share this with you guys because it's such a fun project. It's been really stressful. I've eaten so much pie and tartlets and tarts. I'm not going to lie. I love it, but it's a lot of pie. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share it cause I thought it would motivate me to work harder on it. I've, I've worked on and off of it for the last two years. I feel like I've been wanting to push it out there and I keep giving myself deadlines and I keep putting it off because I'm like, ah, oh, nobody's going to know I'm not putting it out there because nobody knows about it. However, I'm putting my foot down. I just put my hand down, but my, my foot will be also down. I am working on my own baking book of tarts and pies and I wanted to share it with you guys and share my excitement. I have half the recipes tested and I'm working on the artwork and the outlines and everything like that. It's just a big project and it's taking me a long time. I've also been working on my blog and trying to get that back up and running. I took it down for about a year because I was questioning my whole baking life and I'm mad I did that. I love baking. I love sharing baked goods. I love being on here and baking on my channel and sharing these recipes with you and showing you that Baking is a pain in the butt, but it's also really rewarding if we get it, if, if it goes all right. It can look terrible, but if it tastes good, it's, it's good. <laughs> um, and so I've been working on my blog a lot. I've been working on this baking book. And so I just haven't had the chance to read as much. I'm still getting in books here and there. Of course, I love to read before I go to bed. But I just wanted to update you guys because I feel like you deserve an update and I feel like you you guys can hold me accountable to my goals. <laughs> so my goal, I think, is to get my baking book done by the end of the year. And that is a very tight goal because we're right at the end of March. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so um, I wanted to share this news with you guys. And I really have been enjoying reading and sharing my books that I've been reading with you. And it's like my own little personal 
book club and I would love to read more with you guys. If you have any recommendations on what to read next, go ahead and post it in the comments below. Maybe we can read a book together. That, I am, that would be loads of fun. Uh, but for now, I've talked a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work on some other projects and we'll see where the day takes us. The day is still young, even though it's starting to get a little darker. It's just because it's cloudy though. The day is still young. Let's see what we can get done. I'm excited. <laughs>